I work in a, in a specific cancer model that is gastric cancer and uh, I work in a specific problem that is how cells, cancer cells, they invade. What do they need to, uh, to accomplish uh, in terms of cell behavior and uh, which are the, the, the programs they use, uh, the specific intracellular programs they use to be able to invade and metastasize and make metastases in a cancer patient. And I work in a specific protein that I believe it's crucial for these events to occur, that is called ecadirin, and it's a, a protein that is important for cells to connect with each other. And when it is altered in cancer, cells disconnect from each other, they become isolated, and they are able to invade other tissues, and in that way uh, they become prone to give rise to metastasis. Of course, science uh, or human enlightenment to be solid and based on real things uh, should be based on, on science. But it's not the only thing. Uh, Science is not the only thing that counts in life. I think we need art, and that's not empirical science. It's just based on imagination. You don't need to test it. So it, art is fundamental, and love is fundamental. So I think for a path for human enlightenment we need science as a base for solid uh, steps, art for as a way to go further than it's possible to test, and love to be happy. If I have to give an advice to, to scientists is to don't be afraid to risk, to take a risk. Try to find the best supervisor as possible, a loving person, not just a good scientist. Be rigorous. Work hard and let yourself free to think. And don't be afraid of uh, stepping into areas that you don't know. And be absolutely astonished by things that you never thought of. And uh, be, as we say, uh, amazed. Be amazed. Um, and science has to tell you stories and has to, has to find you give you happiness. So I, I, what I tell to the next generation of scientists, be as you are. Don't try to be someone that you are not, because that will come out sooner or later, and uh, then it will be very bad for you. I cannot tell you about a question that has not been solved. I will tell you about what is my last question that I would like to be solved. 
and it's not related to my real area of research. So, I would like to know what triggers what in a cell to modify its behavior or to do something in a specific time. So, what triggers what means? Is it tension that induces an electric field that modifies the signaling biochemical program that has an effect related to that? Or is it the nucleus that controls the process of proteins that in that way modify the electric field of a cell and the tension. What I want to understand is what is triggering what? Is it mechanics that triggers electrostatic fields and electrostatic fields modify the biochemical uh, stimulus of a cell and then it modifies the behavior or, or is the opposite? I don't know if this question is solved. To me, it's not solved. Maybe because I don't know enough. But I would like to understand what triggers what. It's like how things happen. And that is related to how this world started, how life started. It started because there was an electric field that was very uh, strong and it modified the proteins and it modified the genomic structure and gave rise to life? Or what happens? So I think to look to a cell, maybe it gives a hint how this world started. The big question, how we are here, I don't know. I like big questions, although I do very small questions. <laughs>